Well, hello there. I'm Alicia Malone, and it's Sunday afternoon here on TCM, which makes it the perfect time to watch Sunday in New York from 1963. This was directed by Peter Tewksbury, based on a play by Norman Krasner, who adapted his own work for the script. Jane Fonda stars as Eileen, a young woman who is in New York visiting her brother after breaking up with her boyfriend. The brother is played by Cliff Robertson, and he shares some advice about sex that he himself definitely doesn't follow. And Rod Taylor also stars as Mike, a stranger whom Eileen becomes hooked on, literally and then metaphorically. This material feels quite tame by today's standards, but this was a time when Hollywood was just starting to dip its toes back into sexier material since the enforcement of the production code in the 1930s. As the 1960s brought about more liberal ideas around women and sex, and American audiences began to have access to watch riskier European films, the code was beginning to seem very outdated. As you'll see, this is one of those sex comedies where there's much more talking about sex and actual sex, and Jane Fonda didn't see anything shocking about it, telling a reporter that, I guess sex in movies is here to stay, but the overemphasis on it is pretty silly. Silly but fun. Let's watch Sunday in New York. While filming the exterior scenes from Sunday in New York, Jane Fonda was visited on set by her father, Henry Fonda, and brother, Peter Fonda, who were both making other movies in New York. And you can see the photos of the three standing together on the street, all holding scripts and smiling for photographers who had obviously been invited to capture the moment. This was one of the first films Jane Fonda had been involved with that was commercially successful and critics praised her performance, though the role of Eileen didn't demand a whole lot of depth from Fonda. Following its release, she went to France to make her next movie, and soon she reinvented herself as a star of French films, as well as the wife of director Roger Vadim, marrying him in 1965. Okay, stay with TCM because after the break we have another film that is an ideal Sunday afternoon watch. It's a musical starring Gene Kelly and Debbie Reynolds that is guaranteed to put a smile on your face and make you want to dance in the rain.